Focusing on human rights and cultural diversity, the bill prohibits discrimination in Howard County based on citizenship status. It has billed itself as inclusive and diverse, but Howard County has had tensions. We have had some issues, whether it's anti-Semitism, uh, Islamophobia, issues with uh, uh, race uh, against blacks, Hispanics, and that's not who we are as Howard County. That's not our values. Howard County Council members Calvin Ball and Jennifer Terraza now seeking a safe haven for immigrants, no matter their immigration status. The proposal designating Howard County as a sanctuary county. The council members are basing it on recent incidents, negative rhetoric, and fears in the community. And they've sent letters to the county sheriff, school system, and Howard Community College asking them to take similar steps. I'm hearing from a lot of constituents who feel unsafe and uncomfortable in our own county, and that's unacceptable to me. The proposal calls for prohibiting certain discrimination based on citizenship status. It claims the recent national political climate has galvanized support for xenophobic, Islamophobic, and racist sentiments. And it mentions President-elect Donald Trump, saying unfortunate statements made by our nation's president-elect have bolstered such dangerous sentiments and caused many residents throughout our country and within Howard County to fear for their personal safety and the loss of civil liberties. Ball says the measure states what employees of Howard County agencies, including police, can and can't do concerning undocumented immigrants. It tells the police that unless there is a particular crime that is being committed, that they shouldn't be doing the federal government's job. They shouldn't be going and finding someone and saying, well, you know what, let me see your papers. Responding to the bill, Howard County Executive Alan Kittleman says, unfortunately, the sponsors of the legislation did not give us advance notice of it. We are still reviewing it to determine its implications for Howard County. The Sanctuary County bill will be introduced Tuesday with a hearing set for January 17th, and then the council will take a vote in early February. Reporting from Ellicott City in Howard County, Barry Sims, WBAL-TV, 11 News.